What's up, Internet World? Coach Daniel here. I want to talk about our third challenge of our four-week challenge series uh, that's meant to like help your life in some capacity, whether that be brain function or body function or both uh, mental stuff, physical stuff, what have you. These challenges will help with those things. That's at least our belief. So to get into this one, the first one was uh, movement-based we did a core challenge. The second one was movement based. We did a walk challenge. This third one, diet based. Diet one is a tough one for a lot of us, especially if we're not aware and if we're not paying attention, um, then it's even harder and you start to really take a hit. The, the idea here is if you do this day after day, month after month, year after year, that's when we start to create issue. Um, and a lot of us are doing that. So this is just a time for you to get some awareness on what your body kind of needs and to try to move forward with that past the four weeks, if you can. Um, and if you can take some of those 20 minute walks from challenge number two and bring them into challenge number three, add that to your lifestyle, that'd be great. Hopefully you saw some benefits of that. And then doing some core work, additional core work, you saw the benefits of what that looked like in challenge one. And so carrying that over as we go, that would be awesome if you did that. Don't have to do it for the same frequency, but you got a taste of what it might do for your life and hopefully you can keep it going. So what we're gonna do, simple, simple challenge here, except for it's not when you actually put it into practice. We're gonna ask you to hit a protein intake and a hydration uh, protocol throughout the four weeks. So for the protein, we're gonna ask you 0.7 grams per pound of body weight. So if I weigh 200 pounds, I'm gonna take that, multiply it by 0.7, that's gonna be my number that I'm gonna to have to hit in grams per day, okay? The research suggests 0.8 to 1.2. We're only asking 0.7, okay? So it's even below that. If you wanna go higher than that, great, but 0.7 is gonna be the minimum number that we're gonna to try to hit. And some of the benefits you're gonna get from this, I wrote down a list of, of some of the benefits that research suggests. Every cell in your body contains protein. And so if we're talking about regeneration or cellular health, which is operate like all kinds of operations in your whole entire body, it's like all of it, right? So it's important if it's gonna repair or create new ones. If we're thinking about increasing muscle mass, maintaining muscle mass, increasing strength, bone health, then protein intake is gonna be important for all those things. If we're thinking about helping regulate our appetite, if you find yourself hungry often, or especially if you're eating sugar and processed foods, you're gonna be hungry more frequently, protein intake can help with the appetite and your metabolism. It helps lower blood pressure. Um, there's a lot of things that get impacted with the hydration as well and blood pressure I'll talk about in a second. Uh, weight loss, if you're interested in that, it's going to help with that also because of the other things I just talked about. And then it helps with um, repairing the body during injury. We talked about that right in the beginning, cellular health and regeneration, things like that. So it just helps you age, age well is also because of all those things I just talked about. And 0.7 is a start, right? So however you want to log it, my fitness pal, if you just want to use pen and paper, write it down based on the nutrition label that you have. You could go a little more and get a scale and measure everything. Um, you have integrity. We are gonna trust you to do that and uh, do your best with hitting that number. Any five days in a seven day period, you gotta hit that protein intake to get the point for that day for the protein. So you got two potential points, five out of seven days. So that's 10 points that you can get throughout any week period. So the protein is number one. The second one, the hydration, like I said, if you're 1% dehydrated, you start to have problems. And again, this isn't a day-to-day -day too big of an issue. It is, these problems happen quick. But the, the thing is like, if you habitually are dehydrated, which a lot of us are, especially if you aren't aware of this and you're not paying attention to it, good chance you're not drinking enough water. We're also putting this number kind of low. We're saying 0.6 ounces per pound of body weight. So 200 pounds, multiply that by 0.6. That's gonna be the number I need to drink in ounces per day throughout the day, okay? 
So 0.6 um, is the lower number. It's 0.5 to 0.75 is kind of where the research is. If you're going to work out and move your body, 0.75 being the kind of number we want to get to. So we're saying just 0.6. Still not easy. My advice would be to get a water jug that fits your total daily need and just take that around with you and finish it throughout the day. You might start to pee a little more in the beginning as your body starts to get adjusted to it, especially if you're under drinking normally. Um, so do your best to get it all with the water. If you're gonna mix the water with the tea or the coffee, that's okay, you can count that, but do your best to do it all through water, not other fluids. If we're 1% dehydrated, research is suggesting that this affects your mood, 1% here. Your attention, your memory, your motor coordination, it affects your brain tissue. The fluid up there decreases. It helps you regulate temp if we are hydrated and you, have, you get blood flow issues as well. So like I talked about the protein, if we can get the protein and the hydration, we're helping our blood flow and our circulatory system and all of our bodily functions, our brain function, how we perform physically and mentally is all really important when we think about protein and hydration. That's why we're doing this challenge. Let us know if you got more questions. The hydration, if you hit your number that day, you get the check. The protein, if you hit it that day, you get the check. You got five days out of any seven day period to do this. So during Thanksgiving, you could just take that day out, okay? If you want it. Let us know if you got further questions. That's all. Have a good challenge.